Hey guys, Dan here from the iPod Touch World, and today I've got a bit of a different video. I uh, kind of just wanted to go over, I guess, the rumours of the iPhone 5, but not just that, my thoughts on whether you guys should upgrade now to the iPhone 4 or if you should wait around, and then just basically all of the rumours, uh, the rumoured release dates, and all the different things that have been going around on the net. So firstly, we've had a few different rumours for the release date. Uh, we've got June we've got August and then I think we've got October or November these are the few rumoured release dates uh, we've got iOS 5 coming out in the fall so we could have the iOS 5 and the new device released roughly at the same time which sounds plausible it's what normally happens and it's highly likely that that will happen this year as well all these rumours going around about if it's going to be a 4S or if it's going to be an iPhone 5 and if it's going to be a 4S, it could just be, I guess, a um, faster version of the iPhone, and then they could bring out this masterful iPhone 5, um, which is pretty similar to what they did with the 3GS, apart from the iPhone 4 was a bit of a flop at first because it had those issues. Um, but apart from that, it could be great for them because they could have a few, few more months in production with the device before they release the 5. Um, I personally wouldn't have a clue what they're going to do, it doesn't bother me about the names, um, but it does bother me if they're going to release this um, 4S, which is just going to be a faster version, just to milk some more money while they release this iPhone 5. That would be a bit dog on their behalf. Um, I would like to just see an iPhone 5 come out with this iOS 5, because the iOS 5 is looking amazing. It looks like they've put their heart and soul into this one, finally. They've got a um, software update that's actually drastically going to improve the operating system and that would be great to see um, coinciding with a new iPhone 5 which hopefully has all of these beautiful features um, and they could work perfectly together and it could be a solid solid device um, I don't personally know what's going to happen none of us are going to know until it gets closer to the date uh, this is my iPhone 3GS at the moment as you can hopefully see I have lost my power button and my volume rocker right there and also my home button is very temperamental and it's really annoying to try and end all those bloody multitasking apps down the bottom by double tapping because my home button is not working so I'm definitely looking for an upgraded device my plans running out soon and um, I was personally thinking about just getting the iPhone 4 straight away um, but basically I made this video as well just in case you guys are in the same kind of situation as me, your plan's running out soon, or you're looking to get a new device, or you're a really big iPhone fan, you want to get the iPhone 4, but you don't know whether to wait or not, I'm going to say wait 100%, because with every new iOS update, they always bring out a device which coincides perfectly with the software update because they do produce their software and hardware together to run smoothly that's why their devices are so smooth and why they are one of the best smartphones on the market um, because they do develop obviously at the same time so I would say personally wait, I'm gonna wait um, it's hopefully only gonna be a few more months I'm not thinking the June release date's gonna come out now because it is a little late in June, we've only got like a week left pretty certain it's gonna be a couple more months now Hopefully we're going to have a press release for it soon, so we can all see the features and get a little more excited about it. But for now, that's all we know. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below if you like this video. I'd love a thumbs up, it really does help. And also make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I will have an overview of the iPhone 5 and the iOS 5 and have video reviews on them and whatnot. And I'm obviously going to keep up my regu regular schedule. I'm going to try and keep it up as well as I'm going now. I'm releasing videos pretty regularly. And I'm going to try and keep that up and maintain that. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks for the support. And have a great day.